Ron Neustater with uh, Convey All Industries in uh, Winkler, Manitoba, standing in front of our uh, TC SNH 1045 uh, conveyor. It's uh, basically a truck loading unit. Uh, this particular unit is a uh, diesel horsepowered uh, unit with uh, 34.9 horsepower. It's hydraulically driven, uh, the belt and the, uh, all the other controls as well. It is a uh, 10 inch tube with a 16 inch belt and has the capability to move approximately 100 bushels per minute. Uh, some of the things that make it a little different uh, than some of our competitors, as I said, we have a hydraulic drive. We have absolutely no belts and no pulleys anywhere. Uh, the other thing is uh, the uh, mover kit. <coughs> we have a hydraulic steering on the uh, mover part. Uh, the driver doesn't have to force anything. Uh, we have the main drive on the uh, large wheels, which is, uh, gives you a positive drive, large traction area. Uh, the other thing that's uh, slightly different on this particular unit is the hydraulic cylinder lift. Um, instead of having an orbit motor attached to a winch or a hand crank, we actually have a uh, hydraulic cylinder cable lift. Uh, something else that's a little different on our units, uh, return rollers. Uh, we space ours every five feet, whereas uh, some of our competitors are as far as uh, ten feet apart. Uh, we have made uh, several uh, innovative changes, uh, mainly with the uh, input from farmers that uh, units that we've built over the years, they come back to the Regina Farm Show and continually say, well, this would be nice if this was changed a little bit or that, and we have done that. They come back the next year, they look at it, and they're very happy to see that uh, we've implemented some of those improvements. Uh, the other thing that we do is we, uh, we tend to use uh, large diameter shafts in all our rollers. Uh, we use standard bearings. Uh, we like to stay away from anything uh, odd sized that if you do have a problem you can go to your local bearing supply shop and pick something up and you're up and running right away. Our drive box on this particular unit is a 10 inch diameter drive roller and we have a uh, spring tension control which gives you the uh, capability to have constant pressure. You don't have to worry about the, uh, the uh, adjustment from time to time. Okay. Uh, some of the other uh, changes that we have made over the years, uh, we have gone to a uh, steel hydraulic tank with built-in uh, temperature control. Uh, we've also upgraded to a larger uh, 45 liter fuel tank, so there's need for uh, less filling. Uh, we do offer uh, a gas drive engine as well, which is a uh, 38 horsepower Kohler. Uh, the other option is for, uh, say, severe uh, duty applications where you're, uh, say, you're loading a certain number of uh, large B trains in a row. Uh, we do offer an oil cooler as an option uh, to keep uh, the uh, oil temperature under control. Uh, we install uh, pressure gauges on the drive so that you can uh, keep an eye on uh, your uh, pressure for your belt drive. All the controls are uh, very accessible. The other thing that we like to do where our controls are is it keeps you away from uh, the uh, unit. Uh, you're out of the way. You have good vision of both the hopper and the discharge when you're operating the unit. Um, the other thing is that we have to do is we have closed the uh, bottom part of the conveyor in uh, in the undercarriage area to keep any fertilizer, dust or debris from uh, landing on top of the engine or the fuel tank, uh, thus avoiding some uh, rusting conditions, uh, you know, fertilizer uh, the way it is.